This is My Story is an occasional series of short devotions based around the Bible, the experiences of Open Table members, reflection and prayer. A reading. Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6, verse 2. My phone buzzes, a notification pops up. Breaking news, massive flooding has hit Libya. Anger, then sadness. Confusion, then guilt. Sometimes, when I don't know how to help, I go numb. My own world is already full. Work, to-do lists, church, health issues. What can I possibly do to support people in Libya when I am struggling to handle my own stuff? It feels too much. Ever since I came out as trans, I have been encountering extra challenges to accessing healthcare. It makes me angry. The five year or more waiting list not receiving a cardiac appointment because the name on the system was wrong, my GP confusing titles and pronouns, too many others facing the same difficulties or worse. Discrimination and transphobia is exhausting. Just like the wars, violence, flooding or corruption that we see daily in breaking news, it feels massive and impossible to respond to. Whenever I have heard Galatians 6 preached on, it's been about personal sin. It was never about that big, systemic, breaking news stuff. So what would it look like to bear one another's burdens by challenging systemic sin? For me, it's about community organising. Citizens UK is a national organisation dedicated to listening to people's stories and making change through organising and empowering communities. I talked about my barriers to accessing healthcare at a citizens meeting in Leicester. A campaign ensued focusing on finding achievable wins, such as local GPs being offered some trans-specific training. Perhaps Bearing each other's burdens can be about noticing the barriers in our community, supporting those affected and making small, winnable changes that chip away at bigger systemic sins. This way, we can fulfil the law of Christ by loving one another and loving God. Reflect for a moment. What makes you angry? What issues do you feel powerless to change? Bring them before God. And maybe investigate community organising as part of the solution. A prayer. Passionate God, bless you for the gift of community. Thank you that our anger is heard and shared. Where we have contributed to harm, bring gentle change. Where we witness harm, empower us to support each other. Bless us with rest and bear us in love. Amen. Peter Jones, he, him is a trustee of the Open Table Network. Peter is finishing his PhD in Human Geography and volunteers across his local area to help improve the lives of LGBTQIA people. The recording was read by the author.